Hello and welcome back to Himalayan Network. And today we have with us a very special guest, Miss Queen Andrew. <laughs> a very warm welcome to you. And um, after a, you know, after going to Mumbai and Bangalore, working there, um, how was your experience? Um, I mean, I've obviously learned a lot, eh? Ani. I mean, it's always been like a really fulfilling experience because, like you know, we come from like such a small hill station with big dreams, big dreams. and uh, you big know, aspects. yeah, exactly. And to finally see those dreams coming true, and to be able to meet so many people, eh, um, from like you know, and such creative people working with them, it's truly like fulfilling. And uh, your performance was amazing <laughs> in Gintra Fashion Show, and we were really proud that you were representing our community, and we were really happy about it as well. So, uh, you know, this right now it's Durga Puja season. Yeah. yeah. So, how are you feeling? Are you excited? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, ever since um, I mean, Nani unda kiri neti or dance ko chutti unu ar da kiri. There's a certain joy excitement. and excitement even like the sun is different you know so automatically it yeah it hits differently and uh, i'm i was really excited to come back home and um, you know um, and yeah and the fact that uh, you know uh, me uh, like i was able to go there and like you know show them like you know that there are such amazing like talents, talents and potential like you know in the hills and we have like you know like we we are like yeah, just like yeah people. people because we are like literally uh, you know we grew up in such a beautiful place where our life is an inspiration so i mean it's definitely you know a privilege to be able to represent you know um, our entire nepali community as well thank you thank you that was really <laughs> amazing i mean we were also really happy that um, you represented us in such a beautiful way in such a creative way and there are a lot of talents hidden in hills and i think lakme academy is doing an amazing job taking out that talent in one talent in our kids from hills and do you have anything to say about lakme academy um i feel like you know lakme academy is doing a great job because obviously you know lakme academy is such a huge brand throughout the country and you know um i feel it's so important eh, that uh, um that like you know ever like when i was uh, you know passing out from school um you know um there were not many um, you know institutions that you could like just take yourself through uh um, you know to be able to like just polish your skills and the fact that lakme academy is like an institution like that that really channels like helps like you know the kids and whoever like you know wants whoever wants to do something in like makeup or hair or whatever they they help them channelize that uh, and brush that skills and get into that world out there in a different perspective like not just makeup and hair like yeah. they go behind the scene exactly everything Uh, yeah and you know they learn stuff like you know like practically how it's going to be and all of that so i mean it's a great a uh, great like you know platform i guess so i have a, a very rapid fire question with you okay okay so if you were moving out today and yeah. you had only one thing to take what moving would you out take? moving, moving out, out from, as in from a room from a room okay on an emergency so yeah. what would you take would you take your phone or would you take some makeup uh i have to choose between the two yes only one i'll take my phone i can order makeup from my phone right very <laughs> smart <laughs> okay so uh are there any helpful tips um for our viewers who are watching any three helpful tips uh how to you know bo uh, boost your confidence um first things first three tips three tips okay um uh, first things so first i just said three, three tips but okay. you can add on to okay it. okay uh, to boost their confidence i think like you know um confidence is something that uh it's a process like you know and uh, being patient with yourself is one like you know a really big thing where in like you know you 
really have to experience so many things in order to be the person that you're meant to be. So patience is number one. Number two is just being authentic. When you're your authentic self, everything that you experience is authentic. And that gives you like so much confidence because whatever you are giving is only being given by you. That is the second one. And third thing is just being, you know, just like, can I swear? <laughs> giving zero. <laughs> I think that's a very big part, but to know when to, you know, give mm -hmm. zero. Mm. So I feel beeped. like, yeah, yeah, beeped. Uh, I feel like to be unapologetic and to just be that badass person when you need to be. I think that's really important. Thank you. Thank you so much for <laughs> having you. us. Thank I'm you so, so much for being here. Thank and you. We wish you all the best, you all so the much. success in life. Thank and you. We look forward to meeting Thank you. Again. Thank you. <laughs>